Now, here's a question. If you're planning to head to a park, maybe to drink this weekend, a state park, <laughs> hold off before you pack up that cooler. Yeah, that's because six Connecticut state parks have placed a temporary ban on alcohol. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Aaron Edwards is live in Middlefield from one of those parks now. Aaron. Aaron and Mark, it's beautiful out here right now. We're at Wadsworth Park, but state officials say this is one of six parks that had some issues with overcrowding and drinking. So effective immediately, they're banning alcohol at this park. Now, the five other parks that are banning alcohol are Lake Warmog, uh, Gardner Lake State Park, Paul Gusset State Park, Aquatic State Park and Beach Pond Boat Launch. You might remember last summer, the Department of Energy Environmental Protection also banned alcohol at these same six parks and decided it was necessary to put this ban in place again this year. Now, DEEP says these parks had an increase in misconduct, property damage, fights and assault and complaints. Officer Elise Boothelier with the department tells me one of the big problems was that most of these parks are in rural areas and it takes them a little longer to respond to these parks. Unfortunately, before the alcohol was banned, it was getting to a point where it was we were responding to a large issue, a large fight or a domestic dispute or something like that. And it was taking us a while to get there. And then it was becoming, you know, a multi-agency response. This ban is in effect immediately and violators could be removed from the park and face a $75 fine. Reporting live in Middletown, Aaron Edwards, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.